I have one task for you. How would you make it so that what is in the it block always happens? So we have a describe block and I want it, I want to make it so that um, specific tests only run on specific browsers. Maybe have some special tests that um, check for a bug that's on Firefox. Then it makes absolutely no sense to run the test also on the other browsers if I'm specifically triggering a scenario on Firefox. So how would you mitigate this? How would you fix this? If we do the normal npx cypress open, then we get only the list of browsers that we have on the machine and we can run all the tests in a describe block on that specific browser. So we have Chrome and we have our test and it will run all of them in Chrome. Now, this is of course not the way to fix it or not the way to mitigate this. I can of course change uh, the browser and run them again, but that will just duplicate or um, well, multiply the, the problem. I can actually give the it block a parameter or an extra argument if you want and tell him do the test on this browser. Let's have a look how we can do this. So we put brackets, we say browser, whoop, not Bowser, I'm not playing any Mario here. And this one was Chrome. Okay. So now if we go back and we do, if we do again, NPX, so here, if we want to run them in Firefox, the first one should not run. And as you can see, it did not run. Skipped due to browser. So let's do it again for Firefox. So we have here Firefox. And let's try the same thing here with Chrome. and everything ran. We can actually do edge and the first two should not run. That is correct. And if we want the opposite, we can also use negation. So we can do browser is not Chrome. Okay, let's just add this one here and not Firefox. Oh, I'm missing one comma here. And then let's see if I run in Firefox, then I should get these two. Okay, so I close this one. And if I do Firefox, I should get the one that is Firefox and the one that is not Chrome. Perfect. So, there you have it. This is how you can mitigate such a scenario. So you can play around with it and try to apply to your own scenario but it is really a nice trick I would say I mean this way you can have you don't need to use specific browser checks in your test to if certain if else whatever you can have more um, more control and you can actually also let's try this here so if I say I want this one to be Chrome and 
I run everything on Firefox, then none of my tests should actually run because I defined it on yeah, I defined it on the describe block level. So I hope you like the video. As always, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one, and bye bye.